All right, we back at it. Homegrown Radio, Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head, man. I, I, I'm, happy, I'm honored. We honored to, to bring some of the homegrown homies. They in the studio cooking up right now. All right. Uh, and, and the city's been always obviously going up from head. I know you probably get a lot of people to hit you up for us to play that music. And this is a great honor to have uh, Blue Bucks Clan checking in right now, man. What's going on? Jeezy, DJ, what, sure. what it do? What's going on with What's you, man? On, man? Shit, chilling. <laughs> Now y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all cooking up in the studio. Obviously, you know the the mm-hmm. project that's coming out now. Um, by the time this is out, it's going to obviously be out there. But seventh project in two years, man. Talk talk about what what the world's going to be receiving. Shit, what they've been waiting for, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some hot shit, man. You feel me? Just man. Us. I think um, this is going to be the first release while, while after y'all did y'all deal. I know they they finally, like, y'all finally, like, went public with it and, and like, announced the deal. Well, not really, but really. But um, so y'all finally, like, went and did some official re- record business. Is there a difference in in y'all process, like, as far as uh, doing a, a project than it, than it was before when y'all was completely on your own? Nah, it's all the same. Yeah, not really. It's not really no difference. It's just more of a like stretcher now. Like, you know, it's just just more thought out than before. It's like, you know, making sure the music yeah, is getting better every time. But ain't no really no difference. So yeah. is is that something as far as like style wise, structure wise? Cause I, I know I know me and Head can relate to this because we we started doing a show, right? Homegrown radio and like in our, my bedroom, right? In my in my uh, apartment in Inglewood years back. And back then it was it was no pressure, but it was just kind of like we can just do whatever, say whatever, pull up, ha- have whoever in there at that some, at some point, right? Now that we kind of move to the corporate structure, there are some things you can and can't do. It's it's a little difference when it comes to the structure. Is that something that you prefer? You know, now that you guys got a situation, or is it like, damn, I kind of like the 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 idea of just kind of doing however we want to do it in the early days. No, I was really just still like the same. We still do. We still do whatever <laughs> we want. Yeah, like, you know, it's just you know people that really know because we don't really know about the music like that industry, the industry and shit. So it's like we just we still do whatever we want, but it's like we got somebody that know or maybe know a thing or two more than us that might throw an idea in there. It's it's up to us if we want to you know listen to them or not. But we still been you know we we still been doing everything on our the same way nothing really changed so i remember when we was better, in studio and I, I met with y'all and we was in the studio and i remember like i remember like dj in particular when i was telling you like different things about the industry and stuff like that have you had any like turnoffs already being a part of the music industry now like being quote unquote signed and being an industry you have any you have any gripes already that you want to that 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 you've experienced? Nah, not shit. Probably because the world <laughs> probably because because the, the world ain't open yet. But yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't I don't think it's nothing too big. You know, it ain't that bad. Do you, how would you? What about the pandemic? I mean, obviously y'all are some outside motherfuckers. Like <laughs> y'all, y'all, you know, y'all, y'all shit is from the streets, like y'all music, y'all fan base, uh, the scene, everything is pretty much built from the streets. What, how has the pandemic affected y'all personally? Like what you're in, within your own life, not even as, you know, Blue Bucks, but just in your own life as, as Jeezy, as DJ, like you don't get to function with the homies, you don't get to pull up, you don't get to go to the birthday parties. Like what have y'all been doing and how has that affected you individually? DJ go first. I mean, it seemed like we still been able to do all that, though. I mean, we just be at the studio. Like, the homies that's going to pull up, they're going to pull up to the studio, pull up on us, or pull up at the house. Um, and then, I mean, people still been having birthday, like, little stuff for their birthday. <laughs> <laughs> he like, low-key, we still been going. <laughs> like, but, I mean, I don't know. I just don't even be paying attention to it. You know, I just, we just do our same thing. Jeezy? Yeah, it's pretty much the same, like. I don't know. We just gotta wear a mask every when we go in the stores and shit. Like, <laughs> other than that, we be like, shit. We be, we had like our own shit. Like you know, like just like our own people there. Like instead of being out and shit, like like we barely be going out and shit now. That's it though. But this shit about to open up though, so we gonna be straight. Have y'all have y'all performed at any quarantine parties? 
Mm-hmm. I think that one shit was in, during quarantine. That right? shit was a long time ago. Yeah, that like shit was still quarantine though. Yeah, we did. It was crazy. <laughs> That shit was so, on the news. It wasn't, I saw two parties. I saw two parties on the news, and then white people was flying the helicopter over the party. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It, that's it, that's it, it looked like a blue bugs party. That's all I'm saying. Shit, yeah. know. Well, in our party, you just you know, you got paid to show up, man. He like shit. We don't know nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, in our party though. Now I'm I'm interested to know you guys have been knowing each other for years, and obviously the music shit kind of kicked off kicked off two years ago, but. You know, talk about your chemistry as 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 homies and knowing each other and, and with playing playing football from back in the day to 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 yeah. now doing music together, man. Talk about you guys' chemistry. <laughs> Shit. Who who is the who who is the louder one in the group and who is the quieter one in the group? Who uh, want to get in the personality traits between <laughs> DJ and Jeezy? I don't know. Who is a better yeah. football player? I don't know. We both we're, like we're both good though, like. Like all the all my homies that we be with, we was all good. Like, like we didn't hang with none of the the weak ones. Like, 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 that's what I was like. It's hard to say who was better. Like, when it comes to the skill set, you not saying that you not saying that you might have had you might have got one up on on DJ. I mean, it's probably some little stuff he did better than me. (laughs) You see how he switched that shit up? (laughs) It ain't like you feel me. It ain't like just like. Niggas went trash, so I was like, yeah. yeah. I mean, we was really good at football, like, so it's yeah. like, I don't know. So, so what with the transition to the music though? What, what, what was it that kind of solidified saying, okay, let's we can actually do this? Because you know, music and sports kind of go hand in hand. You know, everybody kind of does it within their own right or whatever. But what, what made you guys say, oh damn, I, we can actually kind of do something off of this and, and really take it serious? Shit, when, when everybody really started telling us to take it serious, like everybody that was around us, they was like, bro, y'all, like this, this shit really hard. Like this is something like this, you know? So, I don't know, I guess it was just our, just the support we was getting early from it, from the uh, from the people that was around us. But who like, knew? We was who just was, doing it for fun, really. We were just playing around. Who like, knew who rapped fun. first? So at like the same time, like, like same probably time. like some months, he probably started like a month, some months before, but it was like the same time. That's crazy how synonymous that that, that time it was. So you said you started, start doing the shit, and then obviously people start gravitating towards the music, you know what I'm saying, giving you that feedback, saying the shit is actually good. And um, do, you, do you recall like the first studio session together, like what that was like, or was it just kind of like one of those things, just a regular ass day? Yeah, I don't yeah really like, remember. like a regular ass day, just like we was just trying this shit out, going to the booth and like really playing around, like saying some bullshit. Like, I don't remember though, because like we'd be together like every day and like time. a lot for a long time. So, I'm, I'm gonna I'm tell you know. the reason why I'm, I'm gonna tell you the reason why I'm asking you these questions because there's gonna this is this is only two years in, right? There's gonna be a year, year 10. In the year 15, year 20, when niggas is popping even more, got Grammys and shit, you're going to really <laughs> remember the first days y'all were doing this shit, right? So it's like, yeah. try to hone in on those moments, man. These are special moments. You guys are going up, you know, billboards looking at you. A lot of shit's going on. And I think it, a lot of times, just we as, you know, we, we as black men together, man, it's like, you don't you don't get a chance to really appreciate these moments. So appreciate right. this shit while you can, you know what I'm saying? Because this... It's the early days of this shit, and it, it's still kind of like it's new. But it, enjoy those moments, man, for real. Um. Also, you got you got these features on the project. Um. I I know I know that y'all had Bino. You already had Bino on the last project. Uh, I think RJ, and it was it was like it was only like three features, and I noticed that the uh, the Clan Virus Two shit. It's pretty much the same way. It's only like four features total on there. Is that is that y'all doing that on purpose, or or did y'all you know did no did you ever like did you want to put more features on it, or you wanted to keep it light? Yeah, we be like, it's already like two niggas rapping, so it's like you feel me. We just like we people need to hear us, like you feel me, the most of the time. But with the feature in there, but it's like we ain't finna have like 10, 15 features on our shit, like you feel me. Got you. Like, and I, saw y'all, I saw y'all shooting a video with Quavo um, out here in L.A., actually. And I noticed, I noticed that y'all was shooting it out here in L.A. versus where versus where they from. Y'all was out there, too, in Atlanta. 
and um, Atlanta wide open. You know what I'm saying? They they not really enforcing none of these rules or regulations or nothing like that. Did y'all when y'all went out there, y'all wasn't worried about the COVID at all? Nah, you low key forget about it yeah. out there. Like they don't even really be tripping like that. I be forgetting For real? about that shit. Yeah. yeah, that shit like regular. Out it's there. cool out there though. I like it. That you was like my first it? Time. That was your first time going to Atlanta. Yep. Yeah. Where? How long were y'all out there? Like two weeks. Yeah, like two weeks. Did, did y- was there anybody that y'all were able to get up with or either meet or get in the studio with that, you know, was dope to you? Hell yeah. yeah. Um, Mike Will made it. Uh, Zay Tobin. Was ATL Jacob. Who else did this shit? Sunny Digital. Oh, yeah, Sunny Digital. Uh, it was like all producers who was like linking up with knocking, knocking shit out. Yeah, yeah it was all produced. We didn't really meet no artists out there. Cheese beats, cheese beats. Hey, up, up to this point, has it has it been somebody that's reached out to you that's kind of been like a, a surprise? Like I know a lot of things are happening, like kind of like swiftly as of right now. But has any has anybody reached out to you from 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 day one in 2019 to now, where it's like, oh shit, they actually fucking with our shit? You know what I'm saying? Whether it's been a cosign, whether it's been somebody reaching out on social, or just like, oh damn, I didn't think they were listening to my shit. Yeah, I w- I gotta say, uh, Steve Sarkeesian. <laughs> For real? Yeah, up. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah. Nigga, actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on on social? Out. Yeah, yeah he DM'd us. Shout out to Steve Sarkeesian, man. Yeah, man. Coach out the uh, Texas Longhorns. Damn, yep. that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, you know what? No, I was gonna say that that gotta be very that gotta be dope to you because y'all are football players versus like a lot of people who be doing the rap shit be basketball players and stuff, obviously. But um what about performing performing for a football team? Have y'all have y'all done that or thought about doing that? Uh nah, not really. I mean we we supposed to go up to uh University of Oregon real soon, you know. We're gonna just be hanging out with them and stuff. They sent us some merch and all type of stuff. So shout out to them too. Is there a party that, that that wishes that the football shit would have lasted a little longer, or is it kind of like, nah, I'm, I'm glad that shit we done with that? Is there still a love for it or nah? Nah, uh, no. like not to play it, but I, I still love the game. You know, like uh, we really know football. Like we watch it all the all the time. And we really know like tell me everything about it, but. Playing, I'm cool. Like, no. <laughs> said, fuck all that. Over. This is way, better, watch way it, better. Sitting in the studio. Yeah, man. We can just, I mean, we can just watch it on TV. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so with, what, the thing, with the football thing, who, who's trash from the Madden? We both good. We still waiting on you. Yeah. You still, you, I thought you wanted to play. Listen, bro. I'm, listen, I'm, I'm good. I'm cool. I don't want no smoke. Yeah. We we'll to play for free, man. Well, find Y'all your best man. Find we'll your best man and player and bring them over. Send them yeah. over. Oh, I got, I got somebody for you now. I, it ain't yeah. gonna be me, but I got somebody for you. That's what I like we to take hear. them too. That's what I like how much, to hear. How much so y'all usually no playing for? How much, what, how much? How much y'all usually running the games for on Madden? However much they want to play, play for. <laughs> what's the most? What's the most y'all ran the game for before? Ten thousand. Yeah, like, like, like if if you if you serious. <laughs> and he playing, and whatever he got, I'm gonna put up some, and we gonna match it. Whatever he, if the nigga got, whatever, like we that confident in, in yeah. art. You know what I'm saying? We that confident, so we gonna match whatever you wanna play for. I got somebody for you. One time, a nigga wanted to play for ten thousand, and we just put it up. Boom, yeah. man, put it and together. He flew out here. You? He flew out here just to play for ten thousand. It was at a party too, on some random shit. Get out of here. So, so wait, 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 hold on. We not finna just blow past that. So yeah. when, I, when you, who was playing? You was playing Jeezy? My nah, other homie. The other homie was playing. Oh, the other homie was playing. Okay, so while he playing, did like, was it a full game or he 21 out, he 21 skunk? It was a full game. We was watching yeah. nothing like a real game. <laughs> so, so when he lost, he just gave y'all the money and went home? The money on the table. Yeah, the money already done. Mm. Okay, no, but, after, after he, table, <laughs> but after he lost, did he just walk out? Was y'all like still cool? Like, All right, yeah, so I'm gonna get something to eat real quick. Or it's like, nah, nigga, I'm going home. He was done. That was Ain't it. To, <laughs> he lost. He was hurt. Ain't nothing to he was hurt. 
<laughs> you didn't offer the nigga no water or no shit like that. Hey, man, you want some, you want some food hey, or something? It was a full party going on. I'm sure he found something to do. I'm not trying to party if I lose $10,000. I'm not going to lie, oh. dog. So, y'all, so hey, then he could have won. He could have won, though. You got to take your wins just like your yeah. losses, man. Especially hey, if he flew out here. Especially if he flew hey. out. You had to know. There's a chance. He lost 10 racks to y'all on the Madden. Is there anything else that y'all do when y'all that y'all bet on, like Madden? Shit, shooting dice, Madden, 2K. You yeah. running the 2K too? Yeah, we got yeah, a 2K, 2K dude 2K. too. If he you beat got a 2K me, dude? Got yeah, we got, <laughs> we got <laughs> 2K too. So. <laughs> we got somebody that we do uh, bet on, you know? He gonna play. He don't even got to put no money up. You know, throw yeah, I'm gonna put the money up. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's that. called, I, I, got a, I got an app for that. <laughs> oh, so when y'all when y'all are when y'all are um running these games for this money, right? Like it, you don't never get mad when you lose. Hell yeah, you're gonna be mad, but it's like yeah, you can't be you feel me, you lost. <laughs> you don't be sick, like you don't, you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't lose then, you gotta win. We don't really lose that much, yeah, though. I, I can't really lose like that. I can't. I mean, I'll be losing like games. little hundred dollar games. Yeah, we lost games, games, but we're always gonna, gonna, run, it gonna run it back. Yeah, like, run it back. We always gonna run it back. Uh, so that's so the dude so that lost the ten thousand, y'all would have let him run that game back. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> he was <laughs> tapped out though. He ain't had the money. That's what it is. Yeah, he was tapped out. He was ready. He was, he was ready to go. That's funny. Oh, that is fucking comedy, man. Two K two though. I definitely want to talk about the uh the visuals too, man. I, I shout out to, shout out to the dude. It was a te, was te, it starts with a T. The guy Tebo, who does the video. Tebo Laurent. Ash, yep. the, the videos look so goddamn clean, bro. Like that shit is hard, man. I was checking out some of the um the videos, the one with obviously Yachty or whatnot. Um, but but are you guys hands on when it comes to that process as well? Not just the music, like yo, we gotta have our visuals look like this. Like, um, is, is it more a part of the process? Are you guys in that part as well? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because, like, we we real close with him, too. Like, yeah. Tebo grew up with us, too. So I like that. I could call him and be like, hey, I want to shoot this video. To you available tomorrow? I want to do this. This is my idea. We got to have exactly this. How we want I want it. this. I want you to get this. Like, I tell him exactly how I want it. And then, like, we don't be having no treatments for our video. It just all off of, like, he know what we like or we going to tell him. Yeah. Or if we see something that's on the fly, we can be like, all right, look, tape that, get that, yeah. get that, and then you know, and then you go do it if, like that. If he like, do the video, like if it's parts that we don't like, we'll tell him to take it out. Or if it's parts that he he, he didn't he left out, we'll tell him like add that part. Like yeah, like we real hands on. Yeah. yeah. I like that y'all didn't edit that part out when the nigga got socked out in Vegas. That shit was comedy. <laughs> that shit was comedy. I was like, oh shit. I didn't even know they got that. <laughs> No, they got it. That's just crazy. They got it. Shout out, Kid, <laughs> man. Um, so with, with this with this project, all right. Um, for the folks that may not know who uh, Blue Bucks Clan is, man, what? How did? How do you? How would you describe your style, man? People that's pressing play for the first time, just getting introduced to you, because obviously there's a fan base that really fuck with y'all, and there's a fan base that's just getting introduced to you. So, how would you describe you guys to them? Um, so I'll say it's just different, you know, like it's real LA, South Central. Like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they just gotta listen and see. With, the, with that said though, because it's a lot of group, it's a lot of groups, a lot of artists that's coming from LA. What do you feel like you guys do that's different than everybody else? Um shit, maybe just the chemistry off top. Like, mm-hmm. like most most rappers they meet like they meet for music like say i might i'm at the studio i might meet a, a different artist today and we lock in or whatever but any little thing i'm you know what i'm saying it might go off but with me and him like we've been knowing each other before this shit so it's like right. it ain't really like forced it ain't right. like you know what i'm saying like if something go wrong i ain't gonna be mad at him or, but if something go wrong with somebody else that I just <laughs> met through this, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be mad, like. <laughs> nah, yeah. But I don't know. It just, it just the chemistry. I feel like. So how, how 
how do you guys handle disagreements that may come up between you and him? You know what I'm saying? You guys, like, is it is it an, oh, let's just talk the shit out? Do you guys need each other's space? Or it's... Hell no. We we don't even <laughs> never had disagreements. It's just whatever. Like, if I like something, he like, if I like, if I really like something, Mm-hmm. Like if I'm like, bro, I'm on this. We, yeah. I'm about to do this beat. He be like, all right, fuck it. Or if he likes yeah. something, I'm like, all right, fuck it. Yeah. Like, I do whatever he want to do. He do whatever I want to do. Or it don't even really be like that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't never really been like, no, nah, I don't want to do this or that. Like we don't really disagree. One th- one thing that I like about the new breed of artists that's coming out right now, especially from LA, is that there's a lot of support and camaraderie amongst you know all the groups that's out there, all, you know, just individuals. Like we seen One Take Jay in the video, you know, the whole One yeah. Take crew or whatnot. And I, 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 we mentioned it to Caitlin the other day, is that, man, that's something that y'all gotta just keep on going with. I feel like that's what separates the new generation from the generation before, is that y'all really, really fuck with each other. And ch- and a lot of the times it's because y'all, y'all just knew each other from, you know, growing up. So I think, I think that plays a part in it. You think so? Yeah, for sure, it was some, um... Some artists, yeah, we've been on, but like, I mean, yeah, everybody was pretty like they embraced us, you know. So it was like, it's cool. Yeah. We just what about uh, what about like personal things? Like, have y'all noticed like family members? You know, y'all got random random uh, people coming out of out of the out of nowhere saying that they related to you now, to, you know, because <laughs> you know because of the clout or trying to get some money from you or things like that changing for y'all yet. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you what do you you just you just put on do not disturb or, or how do you handle it? Yeah, I don't want to be answering my phone. <laughs> not too shit, many anybody. people got my number, but they like people hit me on Instagram, but it, I be getting a lot of messages, so that I just be yeah, I forget it, about it or it'll go, you don't know, it'll, it'll disappear. <laughs> do you think that do you think that you know maybe down the line, um, you guys will start doing like solo projects and stuff like that. Cause a lot of artists that are part of a group usually start doing their own albums and stuff like that. Or is it always just gonna be Blue Buck together? Uh, see, I mean, we ain't never playing like doing no solo shit or nothing. I mean, you never know, but I mean, right now this was working. So it's like, we gonna just do this. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh, are, there any dudes, are there any groups or duos that you guys draw inspiration from that that you probably look up to? Mm. I don't know. I mean, probably like some old school people. Yeah, like who? Just it don't I matter. Say like NWA. Uh, I like Outkast. Yeah, I seen a little documentary on them that like how they came up. Yeah, that shit was uh, hard. Yeah, I like all them too, but um, like. I wouldn't say it like inspired us to do it, like to do it, because it's like we didn't do it on purpose. Like we didn't right. say, all right, we're gonna rap together, we're gonna be a duo. Like we it didn't just it just happened to be like that. Yeah. It was more, it was like five of my it was like five homies rapping, and they was rapping before us. And then we we pretty much like joined them, like <laughs> oh, shit. and then shit, we just Kind of like the only ones that kind of like took it, took it to the next level. I feel that. Was it was it more or less y'all just kept going with it, or was it like you guys were the stand out of amongst the the the, the other um, members? Uh, we just like me and him just started making our own songs like more, more together. Yeah, like we was already hanging out every day together, and then shit like once we both start like wanting to go to the studio. We just go to the studio. Like we was already together. Like fuck, we can go to the studio. So I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> All right. Nah, man. Go ahead. Um, now I was gonna say the last thing is I wanna that, that I that I wanna know is y'all done been on the road together, y'all done traveled a lot. And all this now, y'all done got some experience under your belt. Y'all went to Atlanta for the first time. Which one of y'all got got the worst habits? Like, you know what I'm saying? As far as like Somebody might be might smack when they eat. Somebody snore too loud. Like we, <laughs> like this. <laughs> <guy. Bro. laughs> hey, why you point at you? Why you point at him, DJ? I don't know. He got that one. He Which got that one. one over me. The snoring. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah, that nigga. Yeah, I I, we went to uh, the Revolt conference a couple years back, 
and we shared a room, man. I seen, I heard this nigga snoring so goddamn loud. I'm like, my nigga, I nigga, you sound like a goddamn bear up in there. Hey, I'm a little, I'm a little hefty, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you goddamn right. <laughs> it's crazy. Now, um, the, we we always ask this question, man, and it's more like the manifestation type thing, man. Things that you're trying to achieve, things that you're trying to do, man. The year can't end without Blue Bucks Clan doing what? Mm-hmm. Anybody you want to work with, anybody you want to get in touch with, any anything you want to do, anybody else you want to hit for ten k? <laughs> yeah, we want to do that whenever, man. That's, that's whenever. Man. Anybody you want to work with? I just want to kind of be like, I just want to really see us be at the top of the charts, you know, like all of that, like really, really, like on the top with the with these other artists, because I feel like I don't know. I feel like once this tape come out and everybody really hear it hear it out, they gonna wanna go back to the old stuff and mm-hmm. really see that we like been like, it been like that. So I feel like they gonna, they gonna, I don't know, they gonna, they gonna like, they gonna, I don't know how to explain it, but they gonna put us up there and really like see it how we see it. Cause I feel like we should be at the top somewhere, you know, and a lot of people just ain't heard us yet. So yeah, no, exactly. It was, I was like I was saying earlier, like sometimes it's gonna be a different int- you're gonna have different introductory points at different p- parts in your career. Some people's gonna be down from day one, which is cool. Some people are gonna be introduced by this project, but as long as they uh, are able to go in and be like, okay, well shit, what else they got? It, you, it's it's a win-win situation. So I think that's why I'm excited by 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 what's coming out and what the people are gonna be hearing because you know, again, I, I remember you know, you know, people calling the radio station like yo. Play some blue bucks. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, you know, so y'all gotta have them in there. So to to have this moment and to see what you guys been doing, to hear you guys signed, and then the project coming out, and then moving forward when y'all do hit the charts, it's gonna be an even sweeter moment. So, for so, hey, I appreciate y'all. Um, you know, being always being you know receptive, partly being receptive to the things, <laughs> to the things that I be saying. So I you know just keep that keep an open mind and, and make sure. Oh, you, y'all, your work ethic stay up because that's our last talent every time. So, so yeah. hey, who came up? Who came up with the name? I forgot to ask that earlier, and I know y'all probably get to ask this shit all the we time. Just, but... we, I don't know. It was just, it was really one of my. Um, it was Neezy, our other homie, that's a part of it. Um, yeah. Me and him was kind of talking about it just a minute ago because he had he was kind of like stepping into managing. Like, remember I said our other homies was rapping already. Yeah. He was like trying to like help help him out. Like we was like nothing, never even thinking about music. And he was already had been helping out his uh his our other homie rapping and shit. So we ended up just going to the studio one time and shit. Like I don't know, that's just what we came up with one day and then shit it just went. <laughs> but then so he he was responsible for the name. So okay, you got you DJ you Jeezy. This is. Boo Bless Clan, like this is this nah, is gonna be hell it. no, it wasn't like that. It was just like I don't know. Once we start dropping music, we just start putting that like Blue Bless Clan. It just came to a point where we had music and we was like, man, we just need a fucking name, like for us <laughs> to put it out. Like <laughs> so we like just fucking put that so we could just start putting this music up. Got it. We start putting shit on SoundCloud and shit like damn, it's just I don't know, this numbers start going up and we like we gotta we gotta take this shit serious. <laughs> hey man, great entry point, man. Great story. Uh, again, just just being from LA and and, and representing what we got out here, man. Just proud of y'all. Keep that shit going, and I look forward to the next conversation, man. When we actually be in the studio, not do this over the Zoom. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Hey, also, we do this thing on the on the radio station called um, Curbside Confessions, and we have people call up and they tell us crazy stories with food delivery people, Postmates, or if you in an Uber or Lyft. Y'all got any crazy stories dealing with an Uber or or a food delivery person? <laughs> Uber. I'm trying to think. Food man. delivery. I don't really. I don't really got a little food delivery postman. I don't really be doing that postmates, but <laughs> I already got no crazy stories about that. DJ, why you don't you don't trust you don't trust people delivering your food? Or <laughs> nah, I like I don't even I don't even use that app. Like <laughs> I will go get my own food or have somebody go get my food like like the old days, you know. Do you do you have a phobia? Like, are you worried about somebody handling your food or 
No, nah, it ain't even that. To me, I feel like it takes too long. And then it's like mm, that's it, dude. Taking long. And then it's like I don't know. It is somebody else with your food. I'll be putting it in my shoes. Like I probably would eat somebody's <laughs> food. <laughs> 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 you try some shit. I'm like, you know what? This shit look smell kind of good. So if so you, like, you were a delivery person and somebody like, and they gave you a bag <laughs> and it was a big ass bag of fries, like you would, you would just help yourself. Man, if they, long day. if they gave you the bag of food right here, <laughs> and this fries hanging all out. Oh, no. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Oops." I might like, grab one before I fold the bag up. I don't know. This <laughs> nigga crazy. I don't know, but I I would I don't I don't know. I just go get my own food or hey Jay Z, you hear that though? Don't let DJ go pick your food up, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. He's gonna be yeah, all off of you. Regular your like him, oh for sure he get his fries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, that, that clan virus too, man. Go on and support that for the folks that's tapping in, that's watching, that's listening. We got Blue uh, Bucks clan. Go on and support them. Stream it, buy it, all that, man. Support these yeah, guys is doing. Get that, man. Uh, anything you want to tell the people before we close out? See, clan virus too, man. The hottest shit in the streets, man. The hottest shit out. So, guarantees out everywhere, all platforms, everywhere, everywhere. Yes. Yes, indeed, man. DJ Jeezy is homegrown radio. Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head, Blue Bucks Clan up in here. We'll see y'all next time. I holler, yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. All right, peace.